What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with Data Driven Design. Welcome to the WordPress show. In an earlier episode of the WordPress show, I showed you how to create a simple WordPress membership site. And now I'm gonna show you how to add some custom form fields to your registration screens for your WordPress website. So if you recall the earlier episode, we essentially made a membership site out of this website right here where you have to be logged in to view all of the pages. But as you can see, it's not the prettiest member login screen. Basically, you've got the ability to add your username or email and your password in here, and that's about it. However, if you're a business that wants to gather a little bit more information from people when they register for your site, you can go in and add the form builder add-on to the simple membership. Okay, so in order to do this, you're gonna to need to go into the back end of your WordPress admin dashboard under the WP membership portion and then go to add-ons and you can see that there's a bunch of different add-ons. So even though WP Simple Membership is a free plugin, they actually make probably quite a bit of money based on their add-ons. You can see that they have a form builder add-on here among other different add-ons, that, but we're gonna focus on the form builder add-on. So if I want to add different fields to the registration and edit profile form, I can buy the new form builder add-on uh, for $69, and I also get the directory member directory listing add-on as part of that. But let me show you what this actually allows you to do here. Upload the form builder add-on the same way that you would a new plugin. Then in the add-on admin interface, you will see form builder. You can create a custom form by going in and clicking the new form option. Then it'll allow you to give it a name. It could be the registration form or profile form. You can customize the form fields by adding first name, last name, address, phone, profile image, company, for example. You can determine which ones are required, which ones are not required, and then you save the form. Then when you view the custom form on your registration page, you should see it all set right there. So this is a great way to take a simple membership site and start to customize it if you need users to register with more information than just their username and their password. Thanks for watching the WordPress show. I hope that this has been helpful for you. For more WordPress tips, go to datadriven.design or email me directly at paul at datadriven.design if you'd like to work together. Thanks again for watching the WordPress show. Have a great day.